Tom Nelson here with Ray Marine Fleer and uh, Ray Marine is more than just a fish finder. It's more than more than just a chart plotter, more than a radar. By use of both visual and thermal cameras, you get a situational awareness, safety, and basically view of everything that's going on within your boat, as well as everything that's going on outside your boat. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm gonna walk you through an installation here using basically what we've got here. The only thing that's missing is a few screws and, and some wires. Uh, we're gonna install both the visual camera and the FLIR camera, which is an infrared camera, thermal camera. So, by use of a combination of visual cameras and a thermal camera, we're going to open up a whole new world to situational awareness, again, both on and around your boat. So, uh, why don't you join me on this uh, little exploration of what's possible by use of the Raymarine FLIR gear that's available today. Okay gang, welcome topside. Um, so now, this is kind of where the location planning begins for a good install. And this is the textbook definition of uh, measure <laughs> twice and cut once. So here's the FLIR base. And we're gonna line it up. You can see where this, uh, this indicates forward right here. So this is just very preliminary scout in this location. And the FLIR is gonna sit uh, right on top of this base and then you'll see that we have good clearance with this location once the eyeball rolls forward and it's in the operating position so it's not going to have any obstruction from the brow shooting forward it's not going to interfere with the radar aft of there so that's the location that's the rough location we're going to scout after doing a little measuring then uh, of course we're going to look underneath the brow before we even cut a hole then our other challenge is going to be a position for this forward facing visible camera problem with this is it's going to be a little bit behind the brow so we're going to have to add a little bit to that base so we're going to take some measurements then we're going to go inside the go inside the brow and see what it looks like from the inside before we even cut one hole Okay, now we're below decks here, and we're looking at the void space in the brow, and you can see that this is a wonderful open access area. We'll probably drop this radio, but this hatch right here, and a nice uh, stiffener or strong back to uh, support the roof is gonna hold up that flare and the visual cam right next door to it. So I will, uh, I'll spare you guys the actual drilling, but uh, this is what you need to do before you drop something through your roof, obviously, is look at what's back there. And then of course, take extra care to seal up those holes and that's what silicone is for. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, we got the cameras installed. I spared you all the, uh, the drilling sounds. But what we're looking for here is the visual camera is peeking up over the brow. And of course that FLIR um, has a nice unobstructed view. And uh, you see when we power it up, she'll automatically come to that position right there. And we made sure that uh, she can swing. So all the wires are hooked up to the unit itself. Uh, now we just need to go downstairs and set up our network inside the brow. Um, and uh, we're gonna film a little bit of that too because I got a trick or two to save a little bit of wire pulling. Okay, well now that we're, uh, we're all functional now, let's look how the installation in here went. First off, you kind of wonder why there's <laughs> some paper towels down here and they're dry is because after we penetrate the roof, we want to make sure, and here's the FLIR bolts right here and the AR200 up there. Um, we want to make sure we're watertight. And so that's just a smart thing to do. I just, before I use this for storage, we've got a couple dry paper towels. We've had the boat out for a couple runs. Then in here, you'll see the AR200 itself. You're going to see uh, the HS, uh, HS5 Talk. And, uh, and of course, a, a safety bus from Blue Sea Systems. And the reason I mounted them um, up here all, all together was that I expanded the boat's network. So any further expansion 
of the Raymarine system I've just got plain access to. I can add another camera aft, which I'm planning to do, or anything else. The system is just about endless, endlessly expandable. But basically, the, the main reason that I wanted to expand the network is it was just a matter of pulling three wires up here and the narrow window sill um, conduit, if you will, the, the wire passage on the, on the window was not going to take that many more wires. So basically, that's what she looks like in there. System's all functional, and uh, now it's time to uh, do a little sea time and see how the thing uh, performs on the water on the, both the FLIR and the Clear Cruise AR. All right, so here, what, the streak you're seeing there is uh, one black lab that's uh, coming down the dock. Now here's what we can actually see with our naked eye. Okay, and uh, here, if you take a good look here, there you're gonna see uh, a certain black Labrador walking down the dock, and you can see her heat signature. So there she is. I'm gonna get her to jump on board the boat, and we'll see if we can see one more time. I'll get her to come uh, come this direction so we can see it one more time to just see uh, how the infrared works with everything that's warmer than the water in the atmosphere, which is background. So it's still black. We, we can barely make her out with the naked eye. But on the FLIR, here she comes. All right, let's cut the lines and uh, go see what we can see on, uh, on the FLIR and the AR, um, which is augmented reality. So let's, uh, let's switch over to the AR real quick. Here we just go to the forward cam, and now we get a picture of our aids to navigation, how far they are away. There's my um, my harbor red and my harbor green, and a couple of boats that have their AIS on. So now we'll cut the lines, get underway, and see what we can see. All right, so here we are. We're idling out of the harbor now. Um, we're an hour before daylight. And uh, so with the naked eye, boy, the back scatter isn't on the rail. It's kind of making things tough to see. But on the FLIR, it's basically daylight. I can see every slip, every pier. Um, the water is, is the background color, as you can see. And then if I move the boat, turn a little bit to see some of the boats that are actually moored and have heat. So that's, there's one of vessels looking like right there and to the naked eye I mean I can see it but you know not to the degree so I'll bring it up here you just kind of barely make that out all right now if this is a harbor that isn't familiar to you that's where the AR or augmented reality really helps so let's switch over to that real quick in the forward cam and now I can see my harbor exit right here so red right returning we're leaving the harbor so that's on my red is now on the left my greens on the right but to the naked eye these are not lit marks and so they are lit on the clear cruise which which is a remarkable advantage all right i'm gonna get out of the harbor here we'll get away from this backscatter lights and we'll take one more look at things okay so now we're out of the harbor and uh, you know, again, we really can't see much until we hit until we see the flare. And now, anything in the water that's a danger to me, whether it be drift, another boat, aids to navigation, basically just light up like a like a Christmas tree. And you can see the clouds up above there too, which you know are barely barely visible to the naked eye. Now, so for me. Here's where the rubber meets the road with flare. So now we're coming out of coming out of the harbor. You see some of those lights, and to the naked eye, that's kind of what it looks like right there. But with flare, you're you're actually increasing the amount of hours of the day that you can safely conduct your vessel. You know, you know yourself. You don't want to take anybody out and put them in an uncomfortable or dangerous situation, and so. What you want to have is unquestionable situational awareness. The combination of the flare 
and the AR200 or augmented reality are two things that you can do to your boat that absolutely will increase your safety on the water in virtually all light conditions. So thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Get to your electronics uh, guy, your local Ray Marine dealer, and check out what FLIR is. And once again, that's forward looking infrared. So it's a thermal camera essentially. And see what FLIR can do for you and your boating. I'm Tom Nelson with the Outdoor Line, and thanks for watching.